Hey guys, it's Ani. Happy, happy weekend. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. And I intend it continues for the rest of the weekend, the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of the year. Okay, so that is how we are setting the tone for today's video. Um, I want to share with you guys today um, a success story. One of my uh, course clients and she's also a viewer. She got a lot of movement from just watching my videos, but also she did um, one of my bundle courses and she got her SP to literally confess everything she wanted to hear from him. And they're going strong from, it went from hot and cold to nothing. And now they're confessing love to each other, which is so beautiful. Um, also, I'm going to be talking about money at the um, towards the end of the video, you guys. I, I want to prioritize her success story first, but we will be talking about money as well. So if you want to bring in more money and more abundance into your life, uh, stick around. Also, you guys, I was reading over this, and this is also for those of you who have been at this and you feel like giving up. She actually talks about, like, how she felt like giving up too. So I hope this video motivates you guys and it keeps you going because this is all just a focus game. This is all your game, your movie, your show, and you can do this. And we have days where we feel like we can't sometimes. Trust me, I've been there. I'll be the first to raise my hand for that one where you feel like giving up, you're making, it, you're making excuses, uh, it's easier to, to not do anything and just, you know, forget your God of your reality and all of that. Trust me, I've been there. But I hope this video resonates. And if it does, you guys comment down below. I would love to hear your success stories. Okay, let's get into it. So in the beginning of the email, it's kind of a long email, so I'll just try to summarize it. Um, my client took the Manifest Your SP Now and the Money Bundle course. Uh, but she also talks about having like this aha moment from one of my videos, not this last Fridays, but the Friday prior, I believe. I think it's that video. Um, that's what she's, she was saying. So in that video, you guys, I was sharing another client success story where my client felt inspired action to message her specific person. And I know that's kind of like a sensitive, to sensitive topic because we, I've been there too, where you feel like I'm not going to text, I'm not going to call, uh, they're going to feel like I'm desperate or I'm chasing or this or that, whatever. But again, you do not have to take any action when manifesting anything. You don't have to lift a finger. But when you feel inspired to do so and you feel calm about it, you feel like, well, I'm God of my reality anyway. Like, it doesn't really matter the outcome. I'm still God of my reality, right? Like, it's the meaning I attach to what I'm doing. The belief I attach to what I'm doing matters more than the actual action, okay? So in that video, my client got success and she was talking about that video. She was like, I had an aha moment and I reached out to SP. So let's get into the uh, email, you guys. All right. She says, hi, Ani, your video that you posted helped me get a huge breakthrough, breakthrough with my specific person. I'm so happy. Oh man, I don't know where to begin to explain, but really resonated. What really resonated with, uh, when you mentioned something about manipulating the outcome and if we do get contact with our SP. And that's when it clicked for me. You said we, we need to forgive what happened in the past and approach them unconditionally. And that right there helped me have a huge breakthrough because that's exactly what I wasn't doing. And I instantly revised and checked my assumptions and I came back with forgiveness and unconditional love towards him in my mind's eye and heart. So I do talk about unconditional love in that video. You guys, if you are interested in that video, it's not the one from last Friday, but the one prior. It, I may I may be wrong. So check, just check. 
if you want to. If you got time and you want to watch, check. But unconditional love is important, you guys, because forgive them for they do not what they they do not know what they do, right? So our SPs, the people in our reality, as real as they seem, they are projections of our thoughts. Thought transition is happening from us to them. So when you expect someone to treat you not so great, or you've had past experiences of them treating you not so great, and your dominant assumption of them is they're going to treat me not so great, they show up like that, but not wanting to. Your desire never wants to hurt you. No one ever wants to hurt you. It's what you expect and believed of them, of how they will show up, and your assumption of them, and assumptions of them in relation to you is what matters. So if you guys want to check out that video, check it out. Um, she continues by saying, sorry, I lost my place, you guys. All right. I, what happened is I started with law of assumption back in January this year, and my specific person and I were still together. However, our communication sucked and my assumptions were not healthy at all. I had been so conditioned when it came to love, and I know my words and actions is what broke us up in March. We kind of spoke on and off, hot and cold, until May, we stopped contact. And then I realized it was my assumptions and self-concept that killed the relationship but the love was still there. I was devastated, but I never gave up. And so I hit law of assumption hard and started working on my self-concept and my assumptions. I got your specific person and money-making courses in July because I felt what I was doing wasn't enough or maybe even the right approach. I needed more help getting my mind straight. So I embarked on your courses hard, and I started really working on myself. I'm doing your homework exactly like you said in the courses, and I also worked on my self-concept and inner conversations with my specific person. And so back to your video you posted, I went, I went for it and I contacted him. I contacted him, and I told him exactly what I felt for him. While we were chatting, I was doing inner conversations in my mind and telling myself that our love is true and real and our new versions of ourselves are ready to work on our relationship. Before, he was so cold with me and never wanted to have a conversation with me. Today, we spoke about us and he, he told me he still loves me. I, I have tears of joy right now. And I thanked him in our inner conversations. At the same time, he showed love towards me and warmth again. It was beautiful. And I am so glad I persisted because there were so many times I wanted to give up, but I kept pushing forward. So to those people that want their specific person back, do your homework every day, three times a day. I will continue to do my homework and will update you on when our wedding is. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Ani. You are such an amazing coach helping us. We have the control in our hands. And as you say, the mind transmission, the thought transmission is real. Girl, if you are watching, I am so proud of you that you kept on going even though you felt like giving up because I've been there many, many times throughout all the years I've known SP. And when when you're on your journey like it's almost like you're learning about law of assumption or you're experimenting or you know you're just you're trying things right and when you're in that process a lot of the times you're like i don't want to do this or i don't feel good like what if this doesn't work and then you remember all these things that have happened and you're creating these circumstances or there are already circumstances in your reality and you're just like you feel hopeless and i've been there and i know and so many of my successful clients that have become success stories just like her have gone through that too and it's just so important you guys in those moments to keep going you are allowed to have days your, your human moments you are allowed to that does not mean you're gonna mess anything up that does not mean you're gonna 
stop your manifestation from happening. But just remember, focus is so precious. Energy is so precious. You really, once you understand that, okay, I'm just focused now on the undesired rather than the desired. Slowly bring yourself back towards the desire, at least back to neutral, a neutral state of mind where you're not judging yourself, you're not judging them, you're not resenting yourself, you're not resenting them. Um, because when you're in that state of mind, you're just creating more of that experience and that is not pleasant. That is, It's not pleasant to feel that way, it's not pleasant to experience those types of things. And one other thing she mentioned in there was the consistency and she did her homework. Now, the way I design my courses is I, I give you something to do or on your daily because I want you to stay consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to changing your mind state or mindset or attitude or anything. That's how we create change in our reality. Uh, if you've if you guys have watched a lot of interviews of like really successful people, millionaires, billionaires, greatest athletes, everyone talks about consistency and keeping themselves motivated when they didn't feel like it. And at first it feels extremely hard. At first it feels like this is just going to be too much. Like it, you rather just not do any of it, but you're only helping yourself by making those changes. You're, it's it's going to benefit you no matter what. Because whether you decide to stay with your specific person or you manifest a new person or whether you decide to stay at your current job that you, if you're trying to manifest more money or a different opportunity, whether it's that or something different or something new or less resistant where you don't have a story attached to it, you are taking yourself and your brain with you wherever you go. I mentioned this in every single one of my videos because it's the most important thing. It's not the other person. It's not the job. It's not the thing. It's not. It's none of it. It's your attitude and mindset and belief system behind it. Always. Always, always, always. I know so many people coming to me. Success stories that I've shared on the channel. Every relationship prior to them working on themselves and changing the mindset and changing the way they see themselves in relation to love or in relation to this person, that person, whoever, every relationship played out the same. It's like, it's almost like a pattern I see. And this would have, this has happened to me too. That's why I'm speaking so confidently about this because I have experience behind it. Every relationship I had prior to my SP and finally making the decision to change my assumptions about me, about him, about love even. It's not even about him. It's just love, relationships, mindset, your self-concept. They all played out similar. So it's never the person. It's always the one common denominator, you. It's always you. So that's why it's so important you guys if you feel like giving up that's fine i think and i would do this to myself too when you feel down when you feel hopeless when you feel like giving up when you feel like this is too much for you um when your ego is trying to keep you locked up and safe in the old identity you feel like you're already failing because you don't feel good in those moments you're not you're not i saw this video um it was bashar and he it, he it was in one of his lectures this really resonated with me if you guys have seen it comment down below he said there comes a time when we're on our journey and it feels like you're going up and down up and down like you're hitting the l's right the lows but what's really happening is every time you go from the high vibe the confident creator feeling to 
maybe you see a circumstance or trigger or whatever it is that you see and it triggers you or maybe it's a thought that comes up in your mind and it really like shakes you and it wants to take you back to your old identity as a reactor that low point is actually giving you triggers for you to cleanse it out of yourself like for you to just identify okay that was a trigger that's just a thought passing by if i don't give it attention and focus um as much as before it's gonna come up less and less and less until it's completely out it's kind of like in one of my old videos i was explaining you know how when you delete a file on your computer the window pops up and says are you sure you want to delete this so when you don't focus on something enough like a negative undesirable thought and you're focusing more towards your desires Sometimes those thoughts pop up and say, hey, are you sure? Like, you, you don't want to focus on this anymore because you used to focus on this a lot. So you just got to click the okay. Like, yeah, I'm sure. Like, I don't want it anymore. And how do you do that? You just observe the thought. You don't absorb the thought. You just observe it. Let it pass by. It was a visitor. It knocked on your door. You didn't let it in. That's what we're doing. And then he continues in the video to say, What's really happening is not, it's not that you're going up and down, up and down, up and down on this journey. It's really like you're going up, down, up, down, up, but you're going up, 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 up. So it's not 10 steps ahead, 10 steps backwards, or 10 steps ahead, nine steps backwards. It's 10 steps ahead, one step backwards. Another 10 steps ahead, one step backwards. But what you do in that one step backwards is that controlling the nervous system and regulating that nervous system that that's what i focus on in my courses so if you guys are interested and you want something that's gonna allow you to organize your routine going forward and have homework i highly recommend it um so remember it's not about sp it's you versus you guys you versus you and I love how she was doing all of it. She was doing some inner conversations. She was doing her self-concept inner work, affirmations. She was doing um, visualizations. So you don't you don't have to do all of the above. Whatever resonates with you, but those things are just there to get you in the state. To get you in a state of calm, cool, collected, wish fulfilled. Are you going to always feel like your wish is fulfilled? No. And I get this um, question all the time. Do you always have to feel everything? And if you don't feel, are you still manifesting? Absolutely. Absolutely. Your thoughts, assumptions are still going in that subconscious mind. Every single time I have hit a jackpot, I did not feel I'm going to hit a jackpot. I didn't feel it real prior. I don't want this to get confusing for you guys, but I'm talking from my own experience from the last 10 years of manifesting and um, putting this to the test. All the jackpots you guys see me share on the channel, and there's so much more I haven't shared, um, every single one, it was not, I was like sitting and really trying to imagine and feel and what would that look like? What would that feel like? I, I wasn't, I was affirming. I was just affirming for it. There's things I do, like if, if it f feels good in the moment and I am able to visualize it or feel something into, in, into like embodying it and it comes natural, I do it, but I don't force myself. So I know a lot of you guys ask personally me, like how I do things. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. So if you guys wanted to know that that's what I do, I don't ever try to force myself to feel anything real because that, and for me, that creates more resistance when I'm pushing up against something and it's forceful. But affirming, scripting. I've gotten a lot, a lot, a lot of wins and sweeps, sweepstakes and tickets and concerts and jackpots and everything from affirming. Now, 
when it comes to SP, affirming in her conversation, just like how she was doing it. She was doing what resonated with her in that moment. And I want you guys to approach your routine in that way too. When you feel comfortable doing something, go for it. Go for it. Try it out. Experiment. Experiment. All with the different things. You're going to end up resonating with one or two or all. And keep, keep going. Whatever gets you in the state of thinking from the wish fulfilled, okay? Or even, even slight thoughts. Like I remember when I would, uh, when I was manifesting my SP and I would feel my mind trying to go backwards to that ego, that old man. Neville talks about old man, old man, new man, right? When I would go to that old man, the one I always would identify with, the dominant one. When I was changing towards the new man, I would feel my ego trying to pull back in and, and say, hey, remember? Remember when your SP did this? Remember when your SP said this? Remember when your SP oh, told you you're never going to become, you guys will never be committed or this or that, whatever it was? I would literally just watch the thought because I know now that's exactly where what you're supposed to watch it and then yeah i i do remember but now i have what i want now i'm not that person i do not identify with that person now i identify as the person that's getting what they want because they've got their reality okay i hope this resonates with you guys um there's no right or wrong technique whatever feels good to you and resonates with you is whatever allows you to think from a better perspective is the right thing okay if you feel obsessive if you feel more desperation or if you feel like i gotta get validation from out there i gotta text sp right now and have him tell me i love you too so i don't feel down that's coming from lack that's coming from lack. But if you're feeling inspired to text or conversate, or there's no like um, manipulation behind it, that's pure. That's unconditional. If it makes sense, you guys comment down below. Now for money, you guys. I was talking to one of my clients um, in session, and I had just posted the... $17,000 jackpot win. And she was like, Ani, you know, she's like, I was showing my um, boyfriend your jackpot wins. And he's like, oh, there's no way. There's no way um, she she wins all those. And then she was like, no, like, look, she literally like posts them on the channel, like while she's there. So it's fine, you guys, if there's people that don't believe or believe it's fine but if you're on your manifesting journey and you're like wanting to experience more money more abundance more wins whatever it is even if it's recreating people please try it out for yourself like this is not like secret um hidden stuff like i literally share whatever i do here for free on on the on the videos like there's no like hidden agenda here try it out for yourself like start doing your affirmations start scripting start if visualizing your thing is your thing start visualizing you guys read the books but apply to listen to the videos but apply to i learned so much in the last 10 15 years by not just taking in information but applying it applying it and seeing what which area do i need to work on like okay how am i feeling right now as i'm attempting to do this am i feeling a lot of lack am i having assumptions come up what triggers are coming up i'm identifying with my thought patterns too that's what i want you guys to do too and my courses are also designed for you to identify thought patterns too if you need help if you need more help on that like my um success story she was saying like i was doing it since january but in july i bought your 
courses because I felt like something was missing or off. So I needed a game plan. But nothing is off, off limits, you guys. I want you to start applying. Start writing down your manifestations. Start reverse engineering. What did you do? Did you affirm for the manifestation? Did you visualize? What helped you get that? How were you feeling in that moment when you did get the manifestation? Were you neutral, natural, calm with your nervous system calm? Or were you worried and desperate and in lack? Watch all of it because all that matters. You guys, all of it is feedback. All of it is feedback. If you want to be master manifester if you want to if you want to just like think your way through all of it all the money coming in all the success all the beautiful relationship feedback coming in apply 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 and sometimes i used to be like this too when i first started you just overload with information overload overload just watch every video every post every um book like I don't think there's a book I haven't read on manifesting on psychology on this and that it's like you get obsessive over it and you think that there's something missing maybe someone's saying something that um it's the secret it's the hidden thing that we we still don't know about we still haven't read about you learn everyone is different that is why people get coaching too, because every person's story is different and every person's limiting beliefs are different. Like you may not realize you have blocks. You may not realize you have limiting beliefs, but something's there if you keep reliving the same old story over and over and over again in your 3D with your SP or with money or whatever it is. 100%, 100%. I've noticed it too, like in the beginning, my limiting beliefs, like, I I didn't feel like I had any limiting beliefs. So I would just be like, no, I don't even have limiting beliefs. Screw that. I don't have limiting beliefs. But then I was still getting triggered by my SP. And I was like, what is, why am I getting triggered? What? And then when you reverse engineer and you look back and you watch your thoughts and watch how was I approaching them? What did I feel when they said this to me? What was going on in my head? When you start, like, reverse engineering and you're like, wow. I did have those assumptions, actually. I did have those beliefs. So for money, sorry, I kind of like went off topic there. But um, you guys, none of my videos are like scripted or anything. So I'm just like, it's kind of like live. So I say what I feel, what I'm passionate about in the moment. Um, but for money, you guys, I want you to watch what relationship do you have with money? Like when you buy something, for example, are you feeling like, oh my God, like money's like leaving me. Like again, I'm putting out money. I'm giving out money. Or are you feeling like, ah, whatever. It's like I just paid this, but I'm gonna get this back 10 times. You may not feel like that right away too. Cause like, for example, my money beliefs are like strong 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 throughout the years like i made it a, a priority to have a great relationship with money um but how you build that relationship with money is you got to watch like when you're using money giving money taking money how are you feeling what is the thought process behind it do you have this like thought process of oh my god I'm gonna need so much of this to handle this and take care of this and this and this and I'm never gonna have enough and I'm gonna have to work all these hours to get it or are you thinking of it from oh it can ha come through different routes see there's a di such a different perspective there's this lack perspective of I gotta work certain hours to get I gotta work so hard to get a certain amount and if I want more than that amount, I have to work even harder. So you're attaching the belief and the relationship with money is this is what I got to do in order to get you. But then that's not the only route, though, right? That's not the only way you can get money. You can inherit money. You can win money. You can get a raise. It doesn't even matter if you're, um, I was going to say you're a specific person. You can get money from your specific person. You can get taken care of 
right? Um, but what I was going to say is, even if your boss said like, oh, no, we don't give raises or we're not going to give you a promotion this year or whatever. You know how many clients I have that we're told we're not going to give raises or promotions or there's no budget this year, blah, 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 blah. And they got like three raises in a month and they hit their goal. Focus, 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 you guys. You can do this. It's not about what you were told or what circumstances are at play right now. It's about where's this going? Is this going to the story with the circumstances? Okay, let's use the circumstances in my story and work ourselves around it and see maybe we can hit half of what we want. I mean, if that works for you, go for it, like by through steps, right? Or just using the current reality and working yourself around it with the current circumstances. Or you can just go to a story where the circumstances don't even matter. Like you don't, in your reality, it doesn't matter what your boss said. It doesn't matter. They said, oh, you got to work this many overtime hours to get this amount of money. I'm going to get that money no matter what. I'm going to affirm for it. I'm going to visualize myself holding it. I'm going to visualize myself telling a friend that I got it regardless of circumstances. I'm going to visualize myself writing in the Ani's comments under her videos. I did what you said and I got it. I pushed through. I didn't care about my circumstances and I got it. Because so much of us hang on to circumstances. We worry so much about what happened out there. What did they say? Oh, they said if they can't. Okay, then they can't. Or SP said he doesn't want me. Okay, then SP doesn't want me. You're, you're the only person with free will in your reality. You're the only person in this bubble of earth, even though there's all these characters and actors around, it's just you creating. You're the only person with the script in your hand like this. That's it. You're the only person the order is being taken from. I have an old video. Um, and it's like your subconscious mind is literally asking you, what do you want? What do you want? Okay, you want this, 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 this. Cool. What else do you want? This, 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 this. Oh, and then you include, oh, but there's these circumstances that maybe that won't happen. So your subconscious is like, oh, okay, there's these circumstances. Cool. Oh, your boss said no. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, your SP said uh, he's with third party. Okay, cool. No. No. We're not including those things because subconscious doesn't care. Your subconscious doesn't care if you include those circumstances or not. Your subconscious is going to literally create your experience per your order. So stop including the circumstances. Stop trying to go through the circumstances or remember what they said, what they did, what, oh, this is a part of my story. No, it's not. You're the one scripting and writing the next scene and the next scene and the next scene and the next scene. The movie script is in your hands and then the script will just be passed out to this character, that character, and they will be acting per your script. But I know you guys, it's, I know I, I say it like it's so easy, but trust me, easier said than done. You're, you may have days where you don't feel like it. You may have days where you feel like I'm not as powerful as I truly am or, you know, like I don't feel the power. It's okay. You're human. You are literally reprogramming your thought processes, your assumptions and beliefs that took, you took so much of your life to create those thought processes and patterns and beliefs and now you are being told actually you have power and you don't have to stick to those things that you created in your mind you can actually go outside of the box and create better and in that in between process some do it easily and some have a really hard time I was someone that had a really hard time and I was someone that literally took every circumstance into consideration and I was like oh my god like it was literally like a mathematical problem in my head okay if I want this SP but SP is a player and SP has 3P and this and that and this and that how are we gonna work 
what stories am I going to create? And okay, this needs to happen. So this can happen. And then this can happen. And then it was literally like a mathematical problem. Like it was like literally AP calculus going on in my head. And that was so unnecessary. It was so unnecessary. But you learn your God and you learn that circumstances don't matter as you go along in this game and in this journey. So you guys got this. Like seriously, I want to see success stories. I want to keep reading your guys' success stories. Thank you so much for sending so many, you guys. Thank you so much for trying my courses. Thank you for all my one-on-one -on -one, um, clients. And for those of you that are just watching the videos too and getting success and applying and just really like staying motivated, I am so proud of each and every one of you, each and every one of you. Like it doesn't matter if you are a client or a course client, none of that matters. I'm proud of you, you, for you keep going, you keep persisting and you want to use your godly power. We've all been there and every level you hit, every breakthrough you hit, now comes more and more changes in your reality that awaken another level in you. Just like how I was saying that thing that feels like you're going up, 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 and then you feel like you're falling, you're not falling. You're actually going up, 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 up. And sometimes the fall is like just the one step backwards you may feel like it's completely down. It's not. You're going up the hill, up the hill, up, up the hill, up the mountain. And you got this. You guys have an amazing weekend. Have an amazing week. I intend each and every one of you watching feels each and did I say that each and every one of you watching? I feel like I'm talking so fast. Like, sorry. Um, I intend each and each and every one of you watching this video has such a beautiful day and such an amazing week and rest of the year. Like I am intending for each and every one of you, I'm intending that you stay confident, you keep going. And even if you have a bad day, that you can get through this. You understand that it's normal, that it's a human reaction and it's okay. You're still in a human experience. Okay. I love you guys for my courses. If you're interested, links are going to be in the description box down below. If you guys need any help or have any questions with anything, email us at sessions, sessions at createyourfuture.co. If you guys need to get on the wait list, I am so booked up, you guys. Thank you guys so much. If you want a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, um, you can go ahead and put yourself on the wait list on our site. Or you can email us at sessions at createyourfuture.co and um, the staff will help you and put you on the wait list if you want a coaching session with me. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.